Jeff, we are here looking at Gran Turismo. I love these Gran Turismo games. No, Gran Turismo. There's a certain For the majesty and a pageantry to their grandness. For the PlayStation Portable here, it's coming out uh, alongside the PSP Go in October. That's right, it's going to go. It's going to go. Next, next week? week? Week after. Sure. Uh, so it's, I'm looking at the main menu here. I just want to kind of cruise through some of the, the options here. User manual options. Gran Turismo Theater. I believe you can do save replays uh -huh. and and uh, keep those here. Yeah, replay. Challenge replay. Intro movie. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? We got status reports. Does that just tell you how much you've completed of the, the stuff in the game? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's see here. Yep, cars collected. I've got two cars. I've driven 21 miles. I have stocked up 40,000 credits. All right. That's there I am. Bam. You have the zero AI driver level. A lot of Ds. Uh, yeah, when it first started, when I when I loaded this up, it had everything at D. Uh-huh. And I've since moved stuff up to C, so. Okay. Not a real strong, like, career mode or anything in here. There's this driving challenge area, but these all appear to be just... Like tutorial type stuff, right? Just like here's here's how you do these, which is things. good. I, you know, games like this I think really benefit from some kind of tutorial that says, you know, hey, you should hit the brakes. Right. Although, uh, you know, if you've played a Gran Turismo, here's your dealership. This stuff changes uh, on a daily basis, at least it's day to day. Yeah, today, in the today's game. dealers, yeah. So you have to play every day to see. Well, it's not actually like today. Isn't today today? Oh, okay. It's just like days in your career. Like you see, I'm Got on day it. six there. Yeah. So I'll go run a race, and then I'll come back here, and there'll be different dealers available. Okay. So uh, and, you know, got a bunch of cars from Honda. Cool. What's uh, this? Right. I don't know what a Panos, Panos is. Those are supercars. Spoon. Spoon. That's, that's... I know what a Suzuki is. Get a sidekick. Or you mean an Alto Lapin? That's what I said. Get into Scooter. Go into uh, Panos real quick. Uh, okay. What do they got? The, They've yeah. got the one, they got Esperante. That yep. Go back into Honda. What are the Hondas? Uh, you know, there's some All right. All stuff like that. Some kind of rally-looking cars. Okay. NSX. Oh, 97 NSX. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you know, in traditional uh, Gran Turismo style, they choose specific model years for what they like. And you've got kind of your race stuff. Prelude. 91 Prelude. Nice. 67 N 360. So, you know, from across the board... For your uh, for your different manufacturers, yeah, uh, and then you could do uh, an ad hoc multiplayer race. Uh huh. Uh, I don't believe there's actually any like online online here. Ad hoc, share and trade. Uh, yeah, so you can trade cars around. Trade cars around, share cars, and play uh, in race games with people that are nearby. And then this is kind of where you do your single player races. You choose. Uh, the type of race, your uh -huh. car, the track, and then you go. So you could do a time trial, which is just you, and you do yep. a, and you just kind of go. And then, like, once you finish a lap, your ghost will show up. Right. And then you can just kind of decide when you want to stop. You're like, okay, yeah, I've, I've like, time right. trialed enough. Yeah. Done. Uh, single player race is just against a bunch of AI, and then drift trials, where it says that your drifting technique, not your lap time, is uh -huh. what is measured. So do a regular standard. Uh, single race here and then uh, give you just keep, it, keep it a shorty hold two lapper yeah, I, you know what I haven't seen any option on changing there, that there was right was back there, there. Was yeah, there? Yeah. back one more um, it was like when you picked a single race off the menu there yeah so the, the, you could set it there well, let's uh, let's go look at that setting then because I don't know where you would hit single race yep there ah uh, okay Got it. All right. Well, I will keep it at two laps. Yeah. Okay. So you can't change that stuff. I only have two cars right now. The other one's kind of busted, so I'm going to roll with my NSX. I don't really okay. have enough cash. I've only got 43,000, so not really enough to get anything awesome. Well, I just want to show some of the uh, the tracks that you can choose from here. And, dude, there's a lot of tracks. Whoa. It's a lot dude. of tracks. Twin ring. Yeah, lots Tahiti of... Tahiti maze. Suzuki circuit. Suzuki circuit. Get yeah. the whole position out. There's lots of just Laguna Seca. Let me get this straight. It's got Nurburgring in it's it. It's got the Nurt. Maybe you've heard of this. Maybe Jeff. you've heard of this. Perhaps you're aware of this. It is impossible to release a game that you are building as some sort of driving simulation without including that track now. Yep. Nurburgring. It has been that way for a while. 
I'd say Nurburgring, Suzuka, and Laguna Seca. Maybe even Fuji. Okay, here you've got it. I don't in... think Shift has Laguna Seca. And I think I'm not no, sure. it totally does. It does. Yeah, does. yeah. I uh, tried to eliminate a lot of things about that game from my mind. Now that that and two up, so. configurations of Fuji, so 2005 yeah, and yeah. the 90s right. version. Yeah, all sorts of high speed ring. All the hits, y'all. Anything you wanna do in particular here? I'd say go back uh, to something short. You know, so we can see a full race and see the replays. 2.5, 2.4, 3, 2.7. Like, uh, just go back to the first screen. There was a, a couple on there that were pretty short, but not necessarily. Here's a 1.2. All right, okay, there you go. Cathedral Box Trail 2. Forward. Oh, it's dirt and snow. I'm going to do that. That's too crazy. How about... Sure. Cote d'Azur. D'Azur. Dazur. Cote d'Azur. What? Cote d'Azur. I think it's in Darfur. What? Accepting this race. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm a little underwhelmed mode-wise from what I've seen in this game so far. Well, it seems like it has more modes than the uh, than Gran Turismo HD did, or Five Prologue or five, whatever. But but Five Prologue uh, was a prologue. Yeah, wasn't a whole game. Well, what are they charging for this? Do you know? I don't. Ready? Ready. Start. You play from a few different uh, perspectives. Cockpit, top like that. My car and go. Yeah, down here. I'm gonna muscle my way around That's these right. cars. Because it's Gran Turismo and the AI. Well, at least at this level, is not very. Yeah, uh, not not super aggressive. They will stick to that line. Yep. Oh, you son of a bitch! There you go. First place. Race over. Yep. Just don't crap this up, and it's good. Nice, uh, smooth frame rate. Yeah. Like this moves really nicely. Uh, the cars look good. I feel like the backgrounds look a little flat. Uh, yeah, they're kind of. The background's kind of reminding me of an old Ridge Racer game, or something. Like they don't, like maybe just a little too clean and yeah, a little clean, a little flat, kind of not not super detailed. Oh, this is a turny course here. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, this is totally a Ridge Racer tunnel here. Yeah, for sure, it's definitely. I should be able to. Got that vibe. Should be able to spin the wrong direction yep. around a turn. Fat 360s. That's what that's what the Grand Turismo is all about. Oh God, that's a wall. What? There, there was a wall back there. You should, you hit it. I'm fine. I'll leave a note. Okay. Well, it's a good thing there's no damage in this game. Indeed. And there's also there's a uh, quick tune option uh -huh. for your car, which uh, I have to believe means that there's also a full tune option? Uh, well, it looked like there was some stuff in there that were was similar to I guess, yeah, 5 Prologue or whatever where, where you can set, you want you know, S3 tires, like there are you know, different tire types and that sort of stuff too. Um, so yeah, you can probably get in there. Yeah, we should check out the race. We should see what we can tune to. Yep. I assume you can get in there and mess with gear ratios and that sort of thing if you want. I should hope so. Driving model definitely feels like Gran Turismo. You know, there's the driving line with the dynamic colors in it to tell you you're driving fast enough, or oh god, it's red, so you're driving too fast. Is there a uh, just is two is colors? It just, two colors, okay. Two colors. The I blue prefer and a red. three color driving line. I agree. One, I agree. The one that's going to dynamically say you should let off the gas, but you don't necessarily need to brake just yet. I think that's. Uh, it's the future. The Need for Speed Shift does that. Uh, Forza did that. Um, I think that's uh, as far as racing line lines go. It's uh, it's more informative. Than, yeah, if you're, if you're gonna have than the than the oh dude, by the time you see the line turn red, you have screwed up, kinda. If you're gonna use the crutch, I agree. But this one seems to work well enough. You know, with the way that driving lines are on by default in in pretty much all sim style racing games yeah. nowadays, I, I don't think it's really fair to call them a crutch. I think it's pretty much just, oh, this is how it is, and if you want that advanced level, then you can turn it off. I guess I could still remember when all these games didn't have it. 
Yeah. And when they started introducing it, it was kind of like the, well, we want people other than lunatics to play these games. Right. So we're going to start introducing these driving lines. Oh, there's that wall again. Hey, you know what? I don't need any of your guff about where there are and are not walls. There's a wall on your right. Look out. Oh, take that turn. Uh, how do you feel on gas and brake control? Being that the the PSP does not have analog triggers or buttons or anything like that, does it feel like you have the the right level of control? Obviously, you can analog steer. Oh uh, yeah, you can use the the analog disc or the D pad to uh -huh. steer uh, as you please. Uh, it feels okay. Cool. Um, yeah, you know, maybe not the same level of nuance as you would get out of some analog controls. Sure. But I don't know. I'm not a. But big, you're not sitting I'm there. Not a big going analog, like, ah. I'm not a big analog button fan in the first place. Uh huh. I mean, like I think you know, with triggers when right. you have Finish. some Finish. some distance that you're trying to Finish. cover. We finished. That's right. We won. Finish. We won. We won, Jeff. You smoked that Impreza and that Skyline and that other thing. Yeah, we're gonna watch this. Uh, yeah. and it automatically just jumps you into a replay. Yep. Just to call that Grand Turismo. Yeah, check this out. All right. And I'm all wah, wah. That does look good for a, for a PSP driving game. It looks sharp, man. It looks really nice. There's some good-looking damn cars, and that has a smooth-ass frame rate. Yep. Four cars. That's not a great-looking crowd. Uh, no, no, no. Some blurriness and some textures and whatnot, but yeah. again, you focus on the cars. They look damn good. Yeah. And like the wheel, like I, yeah, I guess. I did not expect the wheels to be as round as they are. I guess. <laughs> I just think back to all those, the early Gran Turismo games. I guess you know, and even just before that, just kind of boxy tires. Yeah. The, the early days of PlayStation 1 racing games, and even, you know, you just go back to, like, GT3. Like, looking at it now, you're like, ah, you know, I understand why at one point we thought this was amazing looking and all that stuff, but, you know, now... Like, oh, because that wall. There's that wall. Remember that? Sparking. Must have been sparking at that wall. Covered off that pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, well. All right. So there's a there's a little replay. There's a little racing. I you, you reached a driver level C. There. Huzzah! Another 16 G's for you. In the bank. All right. Let's see what we got. Your course options, event options. Oh, wait. Go to course options real quick there. Oh, so you can set difficulty level and make it harder if you want. Oh no. I guess I've only easier because I've only reached C. Reached C so got far. It. Uh, what are the driving line options? Are there are there different? Just okay. on and off. Got it. To see if maybe there was a you know yeah. dynamic, non-dynamic car options you can. Here we go. All right. But I have not, I guess, unlocked the front and rear tires, or maybe it's just not for this car. But there's your transmission, traction control, traction control, ASM, ASM, active steering, driving physics standards, professional, professional physics. Uh, all right, let's um. So yeah, I wonder if that's the the level of tuning that you get, or if there's a, another. There's doesn't look like. Is there like a garage you can go to and upgrade cars? Is there any kind of upgrade parts? Or? I didn't see. I mean, you saw. Yeah, I guess not. You, you saw what the main menu had to offer. Yeah, I think the the last the PS3 stuff hasn't been as deep with that stuff as maybe some of the the previous games have been so yeah i think it's a very sharp looking game and i the driving model feels really sound go but, look at the Toy toyotas go back to the dealership but i feel like if there's Toyota some, day if there's something that this game is missing let's get a celica Yaris, and son. Yaris, gonna race in my Yaris. Tom's Supra. Bite off Tom. I'm not, fi yeah, I'm not finding the depth. Uh, that's something, that was a problem I had with, with what they did on PS3, where there wasn't really a lot of structure to it. 
and you could unlock cars and do stuff, but there wasn't like a huge career to it because it wasn't really a full fledged game. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's kind of the the vibe I'm getting off of this one as so well is that it's not necessarily piece. Yeah, you know, you you know, this is not Gran Turismo two, but portable or anything like that. It's just kind of install UMD data, which is a digital version of the game. So, what happens if I do that? Yeah, I got this off the PlayStation Network. Yeah. Audio settings. Speaker equalizer. Dynamic range. Little natural. Little natural range. Some control options. Cool. All right. Uh, is there, is there anything here? Time to turn it down. Sure. Yeah, save them up. See all those settings. Yeah, yeah so that's... it seems like you just kind of go through your career and unlock the higher AI settings and you know every day you get some different dealers and buy some different cars and yeah you ca- like there is an insane number of cars in this game and there is an insane number of tracks yeah uh, it would be nice I think if there was more structure to how you access them and uh, and even not, not even a, a like a crazy upgrade path that you could do for like parts or anything right but right but it would be neat if there was uh, just a little more tuning options. But yeah, it looks like it's pretty much choose Pick your cars race and race or choose drift your car. Or... Let me do something here. Okay, well there you oh, here set we your go. Tires. Let's set my tires. What are your tire options? Yep. Normal sports and racing. Yep, so there you go. Grand Turismo for the PSP. Look what does for details this. do there? Oh, what now? Details go over one. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's shareable, but you can't trade it. There's a bunch of crazy information about the Honda NSX mm-hmm. Type R92. Did you pick the color? Look I like, did. Okay. There were three shades of white for me to choose from. Yeah. Because that's Gran Turismo's that's, son. That's NSX for you, I guess. <laughs> that year must have just been real big on white, I guess, right? Yep. It looks, and, and you know white. what? Championship white, totally the best white. <laughs> I, I went and I, I you flipped between racist. them. You <laughs> Said, all right, that brings an end to Gran Turismo <laughs> for the PSP. Quick look. Uh, look for this on the PlayStation Network and in stores October 1st, alongside the release of the PSP Go. Yeah, yeah.